Um, what's up? My name's Adam Levine. I'm taking a little bit of a break from the studio to get back to my roots and do a haul for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not going crazy. Can I be totally honest with you though? I've been like really nervous to make this video. I don't know why. I think it's because I told my grandma like three weeks ago, I'm doing a thrift store haul when she asked about YouTube and now she's been texting me like, is the thrift store video ready? When's it happening? Do you have the supplies ready? And now I'm like terrified that my gram gram's gonna think that I'm a bad YouTuber. Literally, like I can take the fun out of anything. I've been staring at these like bags of toys that I'm going to be making fun of for like 10 days straight, dreading it as if I'm like getting ready to go into battle. It's a haul, okay, spoiler. It's a haul something people still do, by the way. Who cares though? Like I'm vintage. Literally like just this week, I retweeted that video of the child cowboy singing in the middle of Walmart. I found it absolutely delightful. Why he do that? But we love it, innit? Do you remember that? That was like four years ago. A little kid like sang at Walmart. Did he have a tambourine? I'm remembering him with the tambourine for some reason, but that's not true. They were boots. Then Lil Nas X brought him out of Coachella and now he's, you know, in the Island Boys. I don't know. What's he doing now? By the way, the Island Boys, if you don't know what that is, Grandma, look it up. They're good. It's a good song. Tell me you didn't listen to that and immediately want to hear it again right afterwards. By the way, you know that I have like a second channel now where I'm posting like almost weekly like hour long videos and I have a Patreon and all that blah blah blah. You know that. You, you've, you've got the horses in the back. So this first place I went to was very cute, by the way, completely run by like genuinely old women, like not faking it, not just like wearing makeup. I don't know why I'm saying that, by the way. What thrift store has fake old women in it? I actually want to go there now. But they had all this Valentine's decor. Some of it was making me feel like I was hot, which is like hard to do. Some of it was almost like aggressive. I think I got a video of it. Like, whoa. So this is a bear. What I like about this bear is to me, and I might be wrong or overthinking it, this looks like a male bear wearing a dress, right? Like, am I crazy? Like Buzzfeed would write an article on this bear and be like, this bear is breaking gender norms and I'm literally losing it. And everyone's like, what? What are you talking about? You're not a per, you're Buzz, you're a dot com. You're not a guy. And then Twitter would be like, actually the bear is pretending he's fake gay, he's queer baiting, why'd he do this? We, I hope he gets hurt. But then the other half of Twitter would be like, literally, I'm not even a fan of the bear and you guys need to shut up. It's literally a dress. Let him do what he wants. And honestly, I'm saying that as someone who hates his song, The Bear Dance. In this scenario, this bear wrote a song called The Bear Dance and it's number one. The tag says the Vander Bear family. And that's the only information I have, except it says copyright 1991. And it was made in Korea. 1991 in Korea. You ever wonder what was happening in 1991 in Korea? This. This one is simple. This has just made me laugh. Just a hat that says rears on it. Nothing more than that, just something a pa would wear. And his wife's like, John. And John's like, what, what, I can't have fun. I can't have fun too. You girls are having fun. John, we're not having fun. That's what you don't get, John. We're not having fun. You're buying hats by the pound. And we can't, we don't have money left to have fun with. I'm sorry, I'll st I'll take it back. No, if you're gonna have fun, let me see, let's see, let's see dad have fun. Wendy, stop, we don't have to do this. I'm sorry, oh. No, have fun. Rears. This I actually thought could be useful. I've never bought a four dummies book before, but bipolar runs in my family and I just thought I should like at least skim. I haven't been officially diagnosed yet. I don't have my certificate. They give you a certificate, right? It's like graduating from high school and you bring it to job interviews and you're like, I'm bipolar type two. Here's my proof. And they're like, great. That has nothing to do with data entry, but I appreciate it. This guy, by the way, I don't like him. I feel like my entire life he's been calling me a dummy. You recognize him, right? By the way, I just realized he's pizza. You're a literally, I'm a dummy? You're a piece of pizza on a book. You don't even have legs. You're a pizza without legs and I'm dumb. I'm just looking through this. You're probably aware that some people, if you let them, will gladly volunteer to live your life for you. It literally, what does that mean? Is that true? Cause hi, can I have their phone number? They'd be happy to cook your meals, clean your house, raise your kid. Where are they? Oh, this I had to get. You'll li literally look at this. That's like kind of, it's almost too realistic. Like that really sort of looks like a human moving their mouth. It's also creepy because it's got like very slight teeth that are almost hiding. And what does he want to eat? Are you hungry? It almost seems like something that if I told you about it, you wouldn't believe that it existed yet. Like if I heard that Elon Musk was working on this type of robot, I'd be like, fat chance buddy that you'll have that done by 2025. Like why even have those in there? This has batteries too, by the way. Okay, I put batteries in her. I'm kind nervous that she's gonna hurt me and everybody that I've ever cared about, but let's do it. Let's press bay. Hello. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting it to greet me. Not enough toys do- hi. Um. Uh -huh. 
Why? <laughs> Why is that? What child? I guess a kid would like this. Oh, I could harmonize with her. <laughs> Why? What am I doing? For, like, for real, what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> Literally so overbearing. It's like when you don't text someone back and they text 10 minutes later, okay, good night. And you're like, I didn't. This is a mug that I found. It says, old bingo players never die. They just wait till their number is called. Can you see that? Which is like kind of cute, you know, kind of funny, kind of hilarious. But at the same time, it's sort of a horrifying image. Just like a grandpa stuck in purgatory. Like, please be eight. Please, I'll do anything. Be eight. That's sad. It was only 50 cents though. That's not sad. That's a deal and deals are happy. I I think it'd be more interesting, by the way, if you just took off the bottom completely and just have a mug that said old bingo players never die and just bring it to work and be like, enough said, what are you going to do about it? And your boss is like, what's that say, Eleanor? Oh, old, b okay, well, you're quite a character. Well, this next thing, okay, let me just say before I show this, warning, a slightly disturbing, just slightly, in my opinion, my mom disagreed, she thought it was cute, but that's not relevant to you, you don't know my mom. Do you know my mom? Drew Sr. Okay, to me, this looks like, there is something about this that is so scary to me. It's a dog, it was $10, and maybe you'd have to see it in person, but I gasped when I walked by this in the store. I, cause okay, here's the thing, it's like hard. It's like one of those things for people who want something but they don't want the real thing, so it's like pretending to be alive. But why is it sleeping then? Like if you're gonna get a fake dog, wouldn't you want a fake dog that's like, Let's, let's start a life together. This dog, it's only going to be that. It's just like, I'm not a part of you. Like, why? He's weird. He's weird. It's just so frozen. Like, <laughs> hi. Hi, if you can hear me, literally don't mess around. I used to do that when I was a kid, by the way. I think the first time I ever meditated, I didn't even realize it. I was talking to like my Blue's Clues stuffed animal and I was like, I need you. By the way, when I brought this up to the register, the lady literally goes, oh, I thought that was a dead gerbil. And I was like, number one, why would you be selling a dead gerbil and also not know about it? Number two, do I look like someone who's gonna purchase a dead gerbil? Number three, don't answer that. As I said that, I realized maybe I kind of do. This I just had to get. I think it is so funny that Roku merch exists and I am now the proud owner of it. I'm going to donate like all of this stuff back, almost except for my new Roku shirt. I just love the idea of like sporting this in public and hopefully someone being like, hey, that's how I watch Hulu. I should like go to Best Buy, wear this, kind of like walk around with my hands behind my back, like near the TVs and just be like, sorry ma'am, uh, have you heard of the new Roku Ultra HDR with Alexa capability? Do you mind if I talk to you about that for a second? And she'd go, no. Or what if I, what if I just knock on people's doors and I'm like, hi, I'm here to install your Roku and just see if anyone lets me in. And then I don't know, I guess I could have some of their food. I guess I could have some, if they have popcorn, they let me in, I'm not breaking in. Do you mind? So I'm gonna do the Roku in a second. I'm just, uh, mommy's hungry. Are you okay? Oh, by the way, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Their meals are delicious. They've got family friendly. They've even got veggie delivered to your doorstep. Save time and some stress. Easy cleanup and low prep. Get only what you need. But if there is more queen, you can box up all the rest. Lately I've been thinking about the fact of all the grocery trips I'm cutting back It gives me time where I can just relax Remain a silly goal achieving brat 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 that's really good. Only a good person could make that. That always ends up, like for real, making me feel kind of good. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code THANKSDREWOMG16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Not this, but a gift, just the same. 16 free meals, three surprise gifts, HelloFresh.com, THANKSDREWOMG16. Could you do it for real? Like, if you were thinking of doing it anyway, could you do it for me? It would help me, but I want it to help you, too. You know, it's not all about me. Not this time. Not this time. 
I'm a brat. Okay, this, I forgot about this. This is actually a good story. Okay, so I was at a thrift store, and you know, shirts at thrift stores are like $7 max, unless you're in like a rich people neighborhood and they get all cocky and they're like, these shirts are $9.50, and you're like, stop. But I saw this and it was $34.42, which by the way, just one more tangent before I talk about this shirt, which is a good story, don't turn the video off. I asked one time at a thrift store, because you know how they go, I don't know if the thrift stores you go to, but the one near my house, it's always like, 529 and I go why and she said cuz some of them already have prices on them from the last time they were thrifted and we do weird prices so you know that it's from our store but then they all do okay that's not a good story this shirt literally is Gucci this is a Gucci shirt for $34 I eBayed it 200 seems like good condition too I got like it's very ugly I was just gonna get it because it's ugly the tag isn't completely on it someone I had told my friend about it they said the tag tag is important. It's kind of coming off, but I don't know if somebody, if anyone wants to like meet me in a Target parking lot, because I don't want to sell it on eBay. You ever have something like kind of valuable, but like, what am I going to do? Go to the post office, get a box. Like I'm not doing that ever. I could have like solid gold and only be able to retrieve a million dollars through eBay. And I'm not going to the post office. Maybe it's fake. Maybe I got duped, but then I just have kind of a shiny $30 shirt. I literally on the like Gucci website, it said sold out for $800. Look at I swear it did. I'll donate like, what, 30% of the money? Why? Okay, 50. If I do end up getting hundreds of dollars for this, I'll donate 50. I'll put on Twitter. I'm just, probably just gonna go in my closet. I don't wanna do anything. By the way, when I took this up to the cash register, the girl was literally like, you know this is $34, right? Like, kind of assuming I didn't have $34 and part of me wanted to be like, have you ever heard of HelloFresh? Let me tell you a story. But I went, yeah, it's Gucci. And she was so, I don't think she believed me or wanted wanted anything to do with me. She just went, uh-huh. I don't get it though. Like, why would this, I thought Gucci was like something that was cool and like pretty. Like, this is like ugly, right? Like, this is not a shirt that anyone, who would wear it like a movie star at a party would wear a shirt like a sequined cat. Like, this is what rich people want? That? These, this is so ridiculous. These are coasters that I bought for $3.99 because I thought it would be funny and no one else would buy this because they're so specific. I think they're literally like custom made by two friends that were like, what if we had coasters? It just says friends and clearly they are. They're using a bowl together. I don't even have friends that I'm that close with. I've never used a bowl with somebody else. If anybody knows these friends, put me in touch. I'd like to make a video with them. I'd like to collab. I'd like to possibly make this a three-way friendship. And I want to get in on that bowl, honey. This I just had to get because I used to have it and it, I guess we got rid of it at some point. Goofy movie on VHS. If you're like 19 or 20, you probably haven't seen this, but I bet you got Disney Plus. Not sponsored, but check out Goofy Goof. Do you know Goofy's name is literally Goofy Goof? Why isn't that my name? Why isn't my name Drewy Drew? <laughs> my friend and I literally used to watch this every weekend we'd have a sleepover. We thought that the fact that they met Bigfoot was so funny to us. And I bet if I watched it again, it would be funny. Cause Bigfoot ends up like doing the disco dance and we rewind it and be like, he's gonna do the disco dance again. Oh my God. And Bigfoot would like go like that. And we'd literally like punch a hole in the wall. Like his family like build me. I punched a hole in the wall because of Goofy. Doesn't that do something for you though? Like maybe this is just, am I trying to make nostalgia where there is none? Just that. Nothing, there's no distinct smell. I was hoping that would like bring something back, but it was nice to take a deep breath anyway. This other thrift store I went to, by the way, literally it was magical. I don't even know how to describe it. It was, you know what? It was like that, Um, what is that called? It was like- Hogwarts from Harry Potter. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, uh, exactly, thank you. Cool, yeah, I thought I'd help. This is Drew from three days ago. I'm outside of the thrift store now. This is before you made that part of the video and I thought I'd help you talk if you were having trouble, baby. Thanks, babe. No problem, babe, I get you. It's like we finish each other's <laughs> sentences. Yeah, but did you see um, that song in Frozen where they go, we finish each other's and then the other character goes, sandwiches. Oh, I, uh, I never saw it. Oh, but um, how could you have not seen it though? If I've seen it and I'm you just a few days ago, what changed? Like... Babe, it doesn't matter. Just tell me about the song. No, but like, I want to know, like, am I going to get in a car accident? Like, am I about to lose time the next few days? Like, I feel like I should know what's going on. Hey, dude. I said it doesn't matter. I'd be very careful about what you say next, sir. Babe, <laughs> you're literally driving me crazy right now. Because I'm making a video, oh my God. I respect that, bye. Bye! I'm so sorry. I literally hate that that happened while you guys were watching.
This, I don't really know why I bought this. I didn't even watch Dora, but it seemed fun to me. I like that the controller is the map. You know that guy that sings that I'm the map, I'm the map song? I kind of like the idea that I can, I can control him now. You know, it's like, I'm the map now sir, right? But I also don't want it in my house, you know, because it's like dirty, but in that like kids kind of way where it seemed like somebody spit up juice box on it, just like that distinct kid mess. Imagine someone comes over for like a date and I'm like genuinely playing this and just like on the couch. Come in, one second, sorry, babe, just, Ugh! thanks a lot, by the way, I was about to defeat Boots. This is a stupid little thing that you like, I don't know, put above your sink or something. It says, if at first you don't succeed, do it the way your wife told you. I don't even think that's funny. I think that the reason I got this honestly was like, I thought maybe it would inspire me to get a wife. Like if I find someone and ask them to marry me and they say like, why do you want to marry me? I barely know you. I can be like, well, I already got the merch. Wife humor like this is so strange to me because the joke is always, my wife is so much better than me and I also hate her at the same time. This says, I don't know what this is, what kind of bottle fits in here. Is it for olive oil? I don't get it. It says, I don't need the internet. My wife knows everything. Once again, the simping is out of control. My wife knows, I don't even need google.com. Can you imagine a guy, like your dad really thinks like this. You're like, dad, please get an iPhone. He's like, honey, I've told you, your mother is literally a walking Wikipedia. I don't need that crap. I don't need Google Chrome. I got your mom's googly eyes looking at me when I'm mowing the lawn. That would be sweet. I wish my parents loved each other. I wish they had ever, I wish I, I, I just got so sad. I wish I had ever seen my parents love each other. It's really messed with my head a lot. I know both of my parents watch all my videos. Could you have tried a little harder? <laughs> just kidding. Sorry. Never mind. These are just small spoons. These are tiny spoons. These are little spoons. I know what you're thinking, are they? You're thinking I've never met Drew in person who says that he's not 10 inches tall and these are actually pretty big spoons. Well, I guess you know what we gotta do. We gotta do a spoon con comparison, sweetie. <sighs> just a mug that says Ian on it. I don't know how to describe. I think that I kind of go into a trance when I'm at a thrift store, but something about a mug that only says Ian on it is very funny to me, and I don't think I would ever get along with somebody who didn't agree with that. Like, is it for a kid named Ian? Like, happy birthday, Ian, and Ian's just like, okay, what do you want me to drink coffee out of this around my friends? Or someone who's not named Ian and doesn't even know anyone named Ian is just an Ian fan and is always seeking out Ians, and eventually, like, marries an Ian, and years later, Ian's like, I feel sometimes Sometimes, like you only married me because I'm named Ian and the Ian fan is like okay yeah it started that way I'll admit it but then I got to know you and you're not just Ian you're Ian the handsome painter with the beautiful mother what this I thought was so weird it's literally just a shirt in that ugly like kid font that says did you make a mistake today and that's it like there's no follow-up on the back or anything I'm such a paranoid person if I just like walked by someone at the mall with the shirt that said did you make a mistake today I'd stop being, uh no sorry, hello sorry sir sir no I also find it kind of insulting like did you make a mistake yeah I did and so did you like that's the whole thing you're a shirt and you probably made a mistake clearly you're in a thrift store no Nobody wanted you. Sorry, I feel kind of bad. That's kind of sad, right? Even though it's like, but it's true. And if you're in a thrift store, nobody cares about you. Like you're such a loser, dude. This I just thought was interesting. It probably won't be to you, but if it is, definitely let me know down in the, what do you call that? The, the reaction center, the comment section. It's a cassette tape and it says Bobby Brown Bobby on it, but the reason I got it isn't to listen to Bobby Brown Bobby. I just wanted an old piece of paper. I just thought, huh, I bet this lined piece of paper is from like the 70s or the 80s. Like this is vintage paper. Like I could, it's probably worth more than the Gucci shirt. I don't know, I get really, I trip out on like random nostalgia that doesn't make any sense. Like I'll just be at the park and be like, I bet that rock's been here for 50 years. I bet it's seen so so much rain and snow and is anyone watching me right now? This, okay, this shirt, honestly, it seems like some, I don't mean to be mean, but it definitely seems like something that like a dork would wear. Like I feel like around 2007 or eight, like MySpace days, dinos, like that was a very popular thing. Like I'm a dinosaur, like it has that kind of vibe, but I honestly, I only got it. I'm gonna keep this because it's 100% cotton and I'm always on the lookout for 100% cotton uh, clothing items. Cause I have, you could probably have guessed by my demeanor that I have sensitive skin. And I put it on, it feels good, but I'm 
kind of scared to like wear it to the gas station and like be made fun of by someone like, oh, what is it, 2008? Like dino vibes? No one would say that. I bet that like most like sweet older women in their 60s would be like, oh, you seem like a nice man. And I'd be like, I make videos online and try my best. Oh, I, I literally, I forgot. I bought two different random male name mugs. This mug just says Tyler on it and it's from Legoland, California. I love the name Tyler. I don't, the past like three years, it just makes me laugh more than anything to just say Tyler. And I actually have a cousin named Tyler that I don't talk to that much anymore. And I think a big part of it is that I'm afraid that if I called him, I'd be giggling the whole time like, you're Tyler. Tyler, if you're watching this, I don't think you're a joke. Oh, this shirt, okay, so this shirt says on it, it says, knock, knock, who's there, doctor? Which made me laugh because I thought it was just like completely random and I didn't understand it. But I showed it to my friend and they said that's Doctor Who, like it's Doctor Who merch, that TV show. But I thought it would be funny to like, if someone got this for me, I would know that they were like roasting me for being a hypochondriac. Like, who's Drew calling? Knock, knock, it's probably the doctor again. Something happened in his rib cage and he thinks that he's about to pass. This bobblehead dog frame, can I just say, before I premiere what this man's head can do, I was just giggling so much at the thrift store. I don't think anyone else found it funny. Look how intense this guy, the amount of energy he is bringing to my life right now. And his son is literally like looking up to him like, I wish I could be like father. I almost want to do it like hard enough. Would that be horrible if I did it hard enough to where it like try to make it complete, like hit the ceiling? I feel like with my luck, like seven light bulbs would break and a shard of glass would hit my eye. I got so scared. I want to put a picture of me in here, by the way, and I do have one. I have a framed picture of myself because my mom got it for me. I just felt kind of weird having a picture of myself. It just says, Drew, what if someone came over that didn't know me that well? And they were just like, oh, you got art on the, oh, no, that's just, that's just uh, the man himself. Okay. Was that worth it? I have a feeling that this wasn't worth it. By the way, hi, it's me in the future. I was just cleaning up all this stuff and I realized the picture I took out of this dog frame, it's just a picture of two dogs. It's kind of sweet. I want to keep this. And then I thought, number one, what if I donated this back when I take all this stuff back? But now it just has a picture of me standing awkwardly in the forest holding a keyboard. And also, why don't I put this dog picture in my Drew frame from my mom? Like... Who says these dogs aren't named Drew? Like, they're the Drew twins now. Okay, back to Drew. Drew. This I just got, honestly, I put this up in my room already. Like, I'm just gonna have this forever. It's just, like, very beautiful to me. Like, I love, it's something about it struck me that, like, this is her room. Like, no one can go in here. No one's probably ever been in here. Like, the cleanest room in the world is right here. I don't know, and I love that it's a mirror. Like, I just like her. Oh, this I thought was cool because like I like old stuff that also still has the box and hasn't been opened because it feels like a weird time capsule or a time machine or something. It's called the Record Selector. I looked it up. There's like a commercial online. I guess it was like an as seen on TV thing in the 70s and it's supposed to like use gravity to like make your records flutter but like it's not electricity. I'm going to try it right now because of course I have vinyl. I'm a dirty young hipster. I've straight up heard of Tame Impala. Like that's where I'm at. Okay, I guess it's not working. I think some of the parts are broken. I don't, I just feel upset. Like I felt so excited like five minutes ago when I opened this and I don't know, I just feel like, why am I doing everything? Like, do you ever feel like that? Like why do I even press record on the camera? Why do I eat food? Why do I take a shower? Cause what? So, so stuff can not work so I can just keep on living and, and being disappointed. It's literally stupid. Like, and I'm single. So it's like, why? I don't even have a bay to FaceTime about this. Like, it's just dumb. This is my album, by the way. Did you know I make music? Whenever I do like a silly song on YouTube, I, half the comments are like, you should like for real do music. I do. I'm not mad at you. Cause like, how could you keep up with everyone doing everything? But I have like Spotify. Like you can search me on Spotify. Like I'm over there doing stuff. But even when I say that people are like, no, but you should like for real. Like, what do you mean? Should I, you want me to be Lady Gaga? You want me to be Allie from A Star Is Born? IRL? I can't. I'm not off the deep end. Don't watch as I dive in. I don't want anyone to see. Oh, and this, I forgot about this. Okay, perfect. This will be the grand finale. This is a little pin that says, I heart to dance, which I think it means I love to dance. I don't think it means like I use my heart to dance. I guess I technically do. If my heart ever stopped, I would. I hope I die while I'm dancing, by the way. Like, not soon, but like, in the next 22 years, I hope I pass away while I'm busting a move. Am I allowed to say that? The, like, people are so sensitive, PC culture. Can I say that? I want to have cardiac arrest while breakdancing? 
One, two, three, four. Nothing is good anymore. Things are scary. Nothing is happy unless you find it. And you can, and you can, and we will, and we have to, and we have to. <laughs> I'm so glad I live on the ground floor. Do you ever think about that? Like I I used to live on like the second floor and I would get in trouble for like pacing around too aggressively when I'd walk to the kitchen to retrieve a snack. I hated that. I hated living in fear like that. If you can help it, this is a message for my video. If you can help it, live on the ground floor because otherwise you're just gonna be living in fear. I hope this video was fun to watch for real. I'm gonna do an extra video on Patreon right now. If you didn't know, I have a Patreon. So I don't know, I'll talk for like 10 or 20 more minutes about what's really going on. Not really, actually probably. Let's sing. So strange. Was it good though? That's my question for the reaction factory. Well, actually, somebody else can say bye to you much better than I ever could. One second. Okay, so I'm gonna press it and just, Hello. first of all, and then I think after 30 seconds he'll, okay, ready? Wait, well, let's just wait here, I don't, okay, literally, I'm done. I'm, I've been filming for like two hours. Can you, okay, I should, I'm, once, once he says it, this video is, okay. Well, actually, I just thought of something else. Hi, Drew. How are hey, hey, Grandma, guess what? What? I finished my thrift store video. I just filmed it. Uh, has it been posted? No, I'm not that fast of an editor. I'm recording you right now for the end of the video, like, because I said... good? I don't know. I've been waiting for it. I didn't want to seem like I'm so anxious and keep Is it because you're a fan, though, or is it because you just feel like I'm a failure if I don't do it? Like, you're worried no, that... No, I don't feel... <laughs> I don't think about things like a failure. But you want to see it because you like my content. I beg your pardon? Because you like my content. I like your content? Yeah, it's just, it's just a trashy word YouTubers use. Do you want to say bye to the viewers? Bye to who? I'm recording you right now. Do you want to say bye to them? Oh, bye to everyone. Yeah, sure. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye.